by it, so it'll go all the way to here and stop. And then if we roll out, it'll go to up, go all the way back to here. And as Flash works in loops, it'll stop back on frame one. So that's going to be our drop down. And we also need to give this a instance name as well. So let's call this drop down. And you notice I'm using a capital D there. That's called Camely. And what it is is it normally is a part of syntax there. You normally have the first letter is a, a normal letter and the second one's a capital. So we just have the D there and the capital D there. So right. Let's have our actions layer now. And I'm also going to create our hit spot area just underneath it. So I'm going to call this hotspot. And let's make our hotspot first. So I've gone to the rectangle tool. And I'm going to make my hotspot a color that I don't normally use again. And give it a bit of space. Now this hotspot in this site, when we roll down here, uh, it is going to go to the very bottom, but if you moved your mouse down to the bottom, the banner will actually act as a rollout, so it will go back up. If you wanted to, what you could do is have the banner expand down when you go on the hotspot, and then have a little close area up in the top right hand corner, so you could actually access it as a whole website, if you understand what I mean. So this would just trigger like the first button to go play the frame inside the drop down, the drop down would happen and there would be a little button saying close there which would just close the banner right back up again. But this way we're just going to do a roll over and roll out. Um, that hotspot I'm going to convert to a symbol and what I'm going to do with this is make it a movie clip and I'll call it hotspot. Once again that won't be affected in the code at all so I'll just give that the name and I'm going to change the alpha so you get this effect, you get these menus here by the way by just left clicking and there's the alpha underneath the color effect and there it is and I'm going to call this hot spot once again cameling there so we've got the lower case and the upper case there right um, so we should press control and enter now and see that nothing's happening so far so it's time to affect everything with action script and get this working. Right, the first thing we need to do is we haven't turned this into a mask yet because we want to see that it's working first and then we'll turn it into a mask. Um, so I want to bring up the actions. And the first thing I want to do is add a event listener for the um, hotspot. So if I go hot spot dot add event listener and mouse event dot roll underscore over and then we're going to call a function in a minute called roll over, well roll over we'll call it or O with a capital O. Let me shut that down. There. So that's going to be our first, the hotspot where we add the event listener, roll over and roll over there. Let's do the one for the rollout. So hot spot dot add okay. listener. And we're going to have the mouse event again. Now Sometimes you get, if I press that dot there, sometimes you get some script assist. If I wanted that, if I just click that there and I get mouse events and press the dot there and it can bring up all the sorts of uh, ones I can have here and you should see here somewhere.
So now we're going to add the rollout, and I'm going to do the same again. Hot spot dot add event listener. Now, sometimes Flash can help you along as well. If I use the code snippets tool here, and I click on that, and it will come up with a lot of code which could actually go in here, um, which you can use. And if I go to the code snippet tool actually, and type in mouse event, and up it comes, and I double click on that, you'll also notice it imports the flash event, mouse event. So if it hasn't imported that when you're writing this, do make sure to put that line of code in as well. Dot and you'll see now it's coming up automatically as well, so it's, it's becoming a lot more helpful as well. And here, oh, not a dot. I'm sorry. Let's have roll uh, OT for rollout. So there's our rollover and our rollouts. Right. Now it's time to write our function. So first of all, we're going to do the rollover function. So function. Roll O with a capital O, I'm using it at the moment. Uh, e, the variable that's going to say that we're, what we're doing here is an event. And void, so not using any data there. And here's the event that's going to happen. So we're going to go to, now what have I called it again? Hotspot, and I've called this drop down. So, remember it's always case sensitive as well. So, drop down, go to and play. I think I called it down, so let me just check there. So, down, and so the apostrophes. Let me just check that once more. So inside here, timeline down and up, yep. So we're about to scene one, bring up my actions panel. Timeline. In fact, my actions panel is just there, so let's get it there. Drop down, down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to call um, a piece of JavaScript that we're going to write in a minute in the HTML file. And the JavaScripts look very similar to ArrayScript 3. They're both in the same family of coding. So what we're going to do is write um, external interface. Cool. And this is what we're going to call. We're going to call some JavaScript, 